would it help Carmelo Anthony's bottom line, his endorsement deals? I mean, he'd be deemed a failure in New York, you have to think, but if he went to Miami, would he make more money? It's funny, Maggie, I always say, you know, you normally wouldn't suggest anyone leave New York, yeah. which is one of the biggest media markets for sports. It didn't work out very well for Jeremy Lin or the Knicks. But in Carmelo's case, you know, not winning hasn't helped. And obviously it's become sort of a LeBron with Cleveland situation where you've got a great star who's performing well, but just doesn't have the team. I think if he did leave and joined other stars, ironically, that would bring up his brand again. I mean, you look at the Heat and the big three, being with Wade and LeBron has buoyed uh, Chris Bosh's endorsements. You know, he was a guy who brands had no interest in, and now three years later, he has a good 2.5, 3 million endorsement deals. And I think the same would happen for Carmelo. He's already a star, but he would become really the kind of brand power kind of guy that he should be. Michael McCann, you did crunch the numbers for Carmelo Anthony. I hope his agents gave you a call and said thank you. You essentially laid out what the money would be like if he stayed in New York, went to Chicago, went to Miami, all these different scenarios. What did you find? Well, Maggie, as a starting point, they should thank Robert Rayola, who's sports tax man on Twitter. He did the real number crunching, and I, and I owe him uh, a, a gratitude for all the work he did on this piece that, that we co-authored. Uh, what we found was that if Carmelo stays with the Knicks, he can sign a five-year deal for about $129 million. If he leaves and signs elsewhere, he's looking at a four-year deal at about $96 million. However, a couple things. One, New York taxes are really high, and those who are living in New York know that New York City know that even more because New York has a city tax as well. So the tax issue actually offsets some of the benefit that Carmelo Anthony would gain. I think the real issue for Anthony is the four versus five-year deal. If he leaves the Knicks, he's looking at a four-year deal. He would then be a free agent again at age 34. If he stays with the Knicks, he would get a five-year deal. And in that fifth year, he would get a base salary of $29 million. I have a hard time seeing him getting that kind of salary at age 34 anywhere else in 2018, 2019. It's astonishing. Matt, do you feel like Carmelo Anthony is going to stay in New York? No, I don't think he is. And, you know, to touch on what Michael said, you know, the Knicks have already come out and said, Phil Jackson said, you know, we want Carmelo back, but we also want him to stick to his word and take less money. So if Carmelo is going to take less money, why would he stay with the Knicks? If all else is equal, there are such better options in Houston and Chicago to win immediately. There's no guarantee New York's going to turn around in a year or two. If he's not getting more money in New York, I don't see why he'd stay. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. All right, go along. You ready? Hope to see you there.